What's up, losers? If you're up at all hours of the night last night playing GTA Online, you might have noticed that it crashed. And if you're watching my channel, chances are you are a loser that was up until 4 in the morning playing GTA Online, like I do myself sometimes. I don't blame you. It's a sad life we live, ladies and gentlemen. But regardless of our sad lives, I want to talk about how Rockstar accidentally introduced an update this morning that crashed GTA Online. This was a normal thing where like the servers went down and it sent you back to free mode and gave you an alert screen. No, 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 no. Your game either crashed when this update happened right away, or when you tried to load into GTA Online during the three hours it was broken, your game would just crash. There was no alert screen. You would just crash and go back to the dashboard. And the reason this happened is pretty funny. It's an oversight by Rockstar because Rockstar has this bad habit of uh, doing like band-aid patches on things instead of actually fixing things. They have a history of this. I've talked about it multiple times on the channel. But this story starts off September 16th. Rockstar removes a whole bunch of parachuting modes, target assault races, adversary modes, special vehicle races, and sea races, which is very annoying because now certain achievements are unobtainable and certain platinum awards are also unobtainable. And I was actually going for the sea races and parachute uh, platinum awards while this actually got removed. So kind of annoying, Rockstar, because now I can't finish my mission to get all the platinum awards. But anyway, where this September 16th update ties in with today's crash is in the daily objectives category. Every day at 4 a.m. Central Time, GTA Online updates with new daily objectives. It happens every single day. And they cycle through these daily objectives, at different ones each day, uh, 30 times for 30 days in a month. And funnily enough, one of today's daily objectives will participate in the special race series. But as I said before, on September 16th, Rockstar removed Special Race Series from GTA Online and vaulted it. Uh, they said they removed all these things because they were making room for more updates to the game. But of course, as an oversight, since they did it very quickly and very lazily, like they do everything in this game that they patch, they forgot to remove the Special Race Series daily objective. So what happened? At 4 a.m., whether you were playing in a free mode, a heist didn't matter, or you were trying to log on, the game crashed and went back to the dashboard. And for, I think, three hours, the game was literally unplayable. No one across the globe could log in because the daily objective was there for a race that doesn't exist because Rockstar removed it. Obviously, three hours later, they fixed it. A lot of you guys probably didn't notice it because you don't get on G10 line at weird hours of the morning. But I thought it was pretty funny. I know you might be thinking, Gypsy, why are you making a video about this when this can all fit in a tweet? And you are right. I actually did tweet about it. But basically, I think it's funny to point out and document and archive things like this that happen when Rockstar makes stupid decisions because they've been making a lot of dumb decisions recently. And this is just another one that shows that Rockstar is very lazy when they patch things or change things in GTA Online because they just send hot fixes over the wire that seem like they have no thought behind them. It's like they thought about it within 10 minutes and just did it, and they don't think of the other outcomes. Like, for instance, now we can't get platinum awards or certain trophies and achievements, meaning completionists literally can't complete the game because they're unobtainable now. I know, mildly interesting at best. Some people call me a GTA 5 Karen. Maybe they're right, maybe they're wrong. I don't know. But who knows, maybe on next week's Rockstar moment, they'll accidentally delete the Mark II Oppressor from the game and we'll finally have peace for a couple days. You never know at Rockstar. You might get what you wish for.